channel. Um, now, is this thing, is it going yet? Ah, yes. Hello, everyone. It's George from Ireland. So welcome back to the channel. Now, I had the grave misfortune to be um, at university, indeed in the same college, with Comrade Owen Jones, who's this far left renter quote. And at the time was, you could see switch on telly without seeing him. He was a staple on Question Time. So he's been a columnist for The Guardian. He's been a bag carrier for various socialist parliamentarians and so on. And his opinions are really more like a checklist of um, uh, ultra left uh, shibboleths. That's him. He's often uh, wearing on his sleeve his compassion for the needy. Um, so far as I know, he never gives him a penny of his own. Now, he's not exactly one to hide his light under a bushel, but he thinks that, um, you know, people on minimum wage should have to pay more to uh, people like him who used to work for the public sector. He doesn't work there anymore. Um, he was doing a, a doctorate at one of the London universities in history. I don't know if he completed it. Um, so that's him. So I knew him when he's even more baby faced than he is now. But um, he's he's not a, no, no more mature these days, though. He is. My goodness. Um, he's about 38 years of age. Um, so I watched his video about why he has tendered his resignation as a member of the Labour Party. And he carried considerable sway in leftist circles. And indeed, I've, I've read his bump for the newspapers. And I've even read um, that book, at Chavs, and that one about the, estab the establishment, how they get away with it, and so on. Um, so, yeah, uh, he writes with a certain poise and lyricism. So we've got to hand that to him. Though um, he's noisy in many ways and is disagree with him almost everything, um, he is obviously dangerous because he's gifted. He's good at what he does. I think even his most implacable foe would not call him stupid. Uh, what else? So and uh, yeah, he of course was a groupie for Russell Brand, and he effusively praised Russell Brand's uh, I can't remember which um, nonsensical book of his. And Russell Brand returned the compliment by saying he's our generation's Orwell. Um, Owen Jones uh, Brand um, blatantly has never read any Orwell um, because, you know, Orwell wrote fiction and um, Owen Jones has never written fiction. Yeah, it's primarily for fiction that that, that, that um, um, Orwell has known. OK, there's the road to Wigan Pier, a bit of journalism. Um, but coming back to this. So I watched the video where, where Jones um, lays out his reasons for resigning from the Labour Party. He joined as soon as he was able, and indeed he said he got his membership as his 15th birthday present from his mum. So he was raised in a, this sort of far-left household before going to Oxford. He said he went there not because he was clever. Well, I certainly agree with him on that. He wasn't clever. Okay, I'm being snide. Um, uh, anyway, and I'd always thought that, that Sir Keir Starmer was actually fairly honest, but Owen Jones does lay out the, the numerous porky pies that... that um, uh, Starmer has, has told. So um, these are outright lies. These are not uh, equivocations or half truths or anything like that. And how he's performed a vault fast on his position in a way that he um, uh, calculates will be to his electoral advantage. And um, well, you've heard me say it sometimes. It's really the parties are Labour Tory. Is you can scarcely put a cigarette paper between them. Um, you may think there'll be a change of government in the United Kingdom later this year, but there won't be. Just like there wasn't really in two thousand and ten. <clears throat> The same high tax, high spend, high regulation, um, bloated public sector state will stay there, trying to keep it a cartel for the two parties, which are more or less stable mates. And that's why Labour can scarcely say anything to differentiate themselves from the Conservative Party. What what substantive policy do they change? They'll drop the Rwanda plan, which is just never getting off the ground anyway. So apart from that, it's difficult to think of anything they'll do different. OK, they will express sympathy. Say, oh, well, we'll absolutely look into it and be completely non-committal about that. They'll stick to the Conservative spending plans, at least initially. Remember, Labour did that in the mid-90s, they said, when they came into office in 97 and so on. So um, really what is they want is like, capitalist credibility so they're incredibly um circumspect but uh, they think is so they can't be attacked from the right as being um fiscally irresponsible they're you know, just going to prove that they're fiscally conservative and um because they're desperate to exercise the ghost of anti-semitism that that, that there was hung around them in, in corbyn's time that's why they're sort of resolutely for israel absolutely trashing gaza um, and obviously that that's um, uh, despicable. Um, and it was pointed out that Starmer said, yes, he agreed with them cutting off water to the Palestinians in Gaza, cutting off water. So two and a half million people might die of thirst or drinking filthy water. Uh, and, got, and then he changed position on that. And as, as Jones observes, the only reason why um, Labour has uh, performed, uh, you know, this is about turn on that one 
is because dozens of Labour councillors resigned and they fear they were going to hemorrhage votes to far left parties if they didn't do that. The Workers' Party of Britain um, uh, gave them a kick in the groin. Um, so, yeah. Um, and Starmer said, you know, no extra benefit for uh, your third child, no child benefit for third or subsequent children. So, um, goodness, um, that's why uh, they really are conservative light, as is like new labor and blue labor. Um, and how are they going to finance all these green initiatives and so forth if they don't write raise tax on the filthy rich? 45 percent be the highest rate of tax, actually not particularly high by world standards. And I mean, I'm actually economically more left wing than Keir Starmer. I consider himself a right winger. I think that millionaires should pay more tax. Those who earn a million a year, not necessarily earn probably that much. Billionaires should pay a lot more tax. I would reduce corporation taxes. Ultimately, it's a tax on all of us who buy those goods and services. I would increase inheritance tax and so on. So, um, so, and I would obviously raise the, the, the personal allowance uh, threshold and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, they're going to do nothing to get rid of student debt. These are all aspirations but they've just got no plan of how to pay for it. And they say, well, if we can, well, then you can't. Um, so they're being um, over-cautious, Jones thinks. And Jones encourages people to vote for the Green Party or any um, ultra-left candidate unless you have a uh, um, a red-hot Labour MP like um, John McDonnell, you know, the pro-terrorist uh, MP John McDonnell, who was in favour of sectarian murders in Northern Ireland and uh, who was obviously a right-hand man of Comrade uh, comrade Jeremy Corbyn. So, yeah, they're rather, how do I want it, pusillanimous, the Labour Party. So Rachel Reeves, the shadow chancellor, she used to work at the Bank of England, so she's trying to be very conventional. Um, and obviously the, the attacks on civil liberties by the Conservative government have been truly disgraceful. Um, and But Labour's completely abhorrent on this. If you go back to the 90s, there were some Labour MPs who did value civil liberty in terms of free expression, and free association and so forth. But Labour's completely against that now. So it's obviously bad enough under the Conservatives that the, the woke agenda, taking away people's right to demonstrate, to uh, vocalise their opinions and so forth, to belong to organisations which are not committing any crime. But Labour's probably going to go even further with this with ideological policing. The police there to really be a bludgeon, to, to beat insensible uh, anybody who dares to question the cartel of parties, the three major parties. So it's all, it's all very worrying. And um, Lord Mandelson, he's a big beast of Labour, and all right, he's not in the shadow cabinet, said there's just no way Labour's going to apply to rejoin the European Union. And I think they won't, not in the first term. They might do in the second term if, if things are going well for them. Um, so, so Jones has pointed out that you can actually expect very little from the Labour Party. They're promising very little. How on earth are you going to get NHS waiting lists down if you don't pay doctors and nurses more, if you don't hire more of them, including from overseas, if you don't buy more um, drugs or more um, equipment and so on. So there's really no way to turn around this super tanker that's going the right, the wrong direction unless you spend a lot. And I know sometimes you can just throw money at a problem and, and make little or no improvement, but money is certainly part of the solution. Um, so, yeah, it's quite dispiriting that Labour it promised to improve almost nothing. Um, I mean, the cutbacks are the right thing to do after the credit crunch, but to real terms, cutback after cutback after cutback is shocking. I remember last year I was offered a job and it was the same salary as, you know, as had been paid 15 years earlier, 15 years earlier. So it's effectively like a 40 percent pay cut. That was obviously even worse for people who are younger than me. So, I mean, um, Jones is right on some things. The, de the devil can speak true. So um, it's um, disgraceful and, and sh truly um, shocking what Labour is up to. And you can expect, actually expect very little from them. So it'll make surprising little difference to their lives. He does say that the Conservatives' uh, go goose is well and truly cooked. In that, he's largely right. But the Conservative defeat mightn't be as heavy as some expect. I mean, I think it will be a heavy defeat. I think the Conservatives will be down to, say, so 180 seats. Um, but, you know, um, but maybe I'm wrong. What is only 200? Labour, 326. They're almost going to get the majority 326. Uh, I mean, I think it's going to be up something like, like um, 390. But what if it's only, say, um, 350? That's not that healthy majority with rebellions, with losing some by-elections. So, Owen Jones, you might actually be helping the Conservatives when you say that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you subscribe on Patreon and donate on PayPal. This will do Labour's small damage. I mean, it only costs them one or two seats because... Um, Jones has a following. He's got a major profile. So, you know, hundreds of thousands of people listen to him every single day. How many people change their votes because of him in the tens of thousands? And that will make a difference 
They won't all be in one seat, say 10,000, but a couple of thousand in a single seat. Now that will make the difference of a couple of seats. All right. Thank you very much. Toodaloo.